Hey Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Sanctuary the Kickstarter Demo. Uh, again, I would like to remind you that uh, this game is on Kickstarter right now and I really recommend if you're interested in it that you should go back it. I think it's relatively cheap. I didn't check the prices or anything like that before recording because I'm an idiot and I didn't do my due diligence. But however, we're going to continue playing it. I am super excited for this game. I'm going to see if I can back it actually at the level that gives me access to the beta that's coming out. I think it's like early access kind of alpha-ish. I don't know if it's beta-beta. Beta, beta might be the wrong word don't look this was supposed to be informative but it's actually just me really enjoying the game and playing it <laughs> um yeah the the there's supposed to be like an early access thing that comes out next year i think if you back at a certain level you get access to that early 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 access so you get it like a little bit earlier than other people so uh if you look on the mini map on the up on the top right there you can see there's actually a wall here that we can break open very cool we will find a helmet Ooh, how nice let's actually have a look at our equipment here uh this guy let's swap around a little bit of this so yeah i'm happy with that that's fine let's see if we can give abominable some upgrades here i think i'm going to give him some defense because he has a decent amount of health well actually let's talk to oddish we're going to take the vital ring off of oddish and give him the helmet And then we're going to give Abominal the Vital Ring, because that'll give him more passive healing for all my people. Do I have any more health items, out of curiosity? Uh, I have this hide here, so I'm going to de-equip that. And maybe I could do a Sustain Ring. Eh, it's probably not necessary. Uh, we will give this guy a hide. I want to have this guy's health be as high as possible, so we are going to also feed him some potatoes. Because the more health he has, the more healing he provides to all my other characters when he's in my combat party. Let's go ahead. Ooh, a cat zerker. I would really like a cat zerker. They're, again, like I said, they're one of my favorite characters. Uh, let's see, these guys are weak to earth and water and they do fire and physical damage. So I think you do, who do I want to put in the first of my party? I either want to take, let's see. Uh, they do fire, this guy's weak to fire, so I won't bring him. Honestly, these two are both weak to fire actually. Well, this guy does do plant-based damage, so I do want to bring him. So I tell you what, I'm going to bring Oddish, Birdman, and Blobbert. I think that's a reasonable party here. Uh, now, the buff I have is Spell Shield. We are going to do a power buff to increase the power of all of our units. Then on Blobbert, we are going to do the... Let's see, how much damage can we do here? Let's do a slime shot on this guy. And we can do a punch combo on the magma pillar to kill it in one turn. Very nice. Very, very nice. So he's going to heal. That's unfortunate. Uh, although it doesn't mean we don't take damage, which is quite nice. Let's do a... Slime shot on this guy. Okay, that's going to get my combo rating up. And then I want to do just a little bit of damage. I think I'm going to do an explosion here. That'll hurt him quite a bit. And that crit, actually. And then we'll do a punch combo to finish him off. Oh, and we crit a lot there, too. Very nice. Four stars? Five stars. Ooh. Magma pillar egg. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Magma Pillar is nice because you can break down certain barriers. Let's go ahead and hatch a Magma Pillar. And we will call him... We'll call him Bernie. Oh, that's Burn. Burn E, like so. Like Bernie from Rooster Teeth. Uh, we have a Cherry here, which gives us crit damage. Let's go ahead and take care of Bernie's skills. So he starts with Ignite and Barrier. Ignite gives... Uh, fire damage and applies a burn debuff which the burn debuff does um, damage based on your own attack or magic value uh, we are going to 
Let's see. Oh, I could get sustain here. This would apply barrier buff to my entire team and apply regeneration to the last monster. Oh, I could get in power, which would give me a 5% more damage. Uh, more health. I could get burning desire, which applies shield to the party when an enemy receives burn. Damage equal to 10% of each monster's max health. Actually, yeah, I kind of like going down the burn path. So maybe we'll do that. We also have Cascade, which is the damage of every consecutive hit, hit during an attack is increased by 5% continuously. Ooh, there's an interesting one. And if we go Kindle, if we go this build, he could be using Arcane Bolt to attack multiple times and really build up our combo counter. So I kind of like that idea. Alternatively, we could go a more defensive slash Bernie build. I think I'm going to go for the... Um, now, we could also take Shield, which would be more of a defensive thing. After, when hitting an enemy, generate a shield equal to 15% of maximum mana each hit. Uh, let's go. I, I kind of want to go this combo build. So we're going to take Cascade and Kindle. I think I'll just get Arcane Bolt and then we'll get like Kindle and Burning Desire as his next spells because these have some synergy. Every hit, he hits five times, so he has a 50% chance essentially per turn. Sort of. It's not 50%, it's probably, there's probably a way to calculate it. But he has 5x 10% chances. So here's Blobbert. Now we could get mana upkeep, which would be good for sustaining our mana. Um, Arcane Bolt wouldn't be bad to upgrade, it would give you more raw damage on him. I have been using Acid Rain and uh, Slime Shell a lot, so I'm kind of tempted to upgrade those both. Uh, I think I'm going to upgrade Acid Rain. Just so we have that little bit of extra damage, it will make it more expensive, but it's a pretty, it's going to make it more efficient to use that spell in terms of uh, actions rather than mana. So I have yet to figure out how to break these things. Um, so we'll have to figure that out at a later date. We got a wizard hat, which gives us defense and magic. How do I get up there? Hmm, who knows? So right now I want to go exploring and see if I can find more monsters. Now I believe since I unlocked the fire ability, I should be able to open up some of those previously locked off areas. If I grab my magma pill and Bernie here. Oh, this is the wrong area. Whoops. The place I'm looking for is, is it up or is it back? I think it might be back actually. Oh, I didn't see him. I was looking at something else <laughs> uh so these guys are weak to wind and earth so let's choose uh let's see earth so this guy has an earth attack this guy has an earth attack so i guess we'll just go with our standard party so far because these are just the most efficient ones here and we will do a slime shot on this guy and we'll do a punch combo on this guy bit of damage and then I guess these guys are weak to wind so I guess we could do either of these I think we'll do a feather storm just to get their health down a bit very nice ouch I'm gonna do a bubble burst on us now we will do a uh, let's see, Arcane Bolt versus Featherstorm. Uh, I think I'm going to do an Acid Room. No. I think I'll do a Slime Shot on this guy to apply poison to him. And then I'll do a punch combo. Okay, nice. That'll finish him off. And then a feather storm should finish this guy off. And we should actually get like four stars from this battle because we did it so quickly, which is quite nice. And we did it in two turns. We did a lot of overkill. Four stars. And we got a berry. And a berry will increase our crit damage. And it looks like Abominable got a skill level up. Let's have a look at what skills I could get here. Um, I'd like to get Taunt. This would make him better at tanking. So I'm going to take Taunt. And I want to get the defense upgrade as well. 
So I'll take Taunt on him, so he's going to absorb more hits for my party, which is kind of what we want him to do. Uh, there was a thing I could burn. Let's fight these guys to get a little bit more experience. I'll be heading back to do that other quest thing in a bit. These guys are weak to water, so I think abominable. Uh, we'll bring Bernie, just for fun, and Blubbert. So to start with, let's open up with a arcane bolt, since this will give us a lot of combo. Huh. Okay. Maybe I didn't understand how that ability works. We'll have to figure that out. Then we will do an acid rain to get our combo up higher for Yeti. And then we'll do a hail yeah, the hail does more. I could also do channel, but I think I'm going to do ice hail. They're going to do sustain, which will make them harder to kill. Shouldn't be a problem. Right, so let's open up with a acid rain on the second guy to lower his defense a little bit. Then we'll do an Ice Hail on this guy. And then Arcane Bolts. To finish off him. So we should regenerate most of that health back, which is always really nice. Let's go ahead and do another Acid Rain, because it'll do more damage. I think I might have misunderstood how Bernie's ability for Arcane Bolt works. But I guess we'll just throw an Arcane Bolt to uh, do a bit of overkill damage. Which is always nice. Ooh, we got a blue gem, which is a crafting material. I haven't in experienced any of the crafting yet, but I'm really excited at the possibility of crafting. Uh, so let me have a look at Bernie here. So what does this say it's, it does? The damage of every consecutive hit during an attack is increased by 5% continuously. For a four hit attack, it's zero. Ah, okay. So this applies to his own attacks. So he has his own cascade, so he will ramp up his damage. Okay, so I, I do think this was the right choice, uh, but it doesn't mean I have to use him for the combo, which is quite nice. Okay, so that makes that makes more sense. I, I thought I thought I had interactions with the combo meter, but I was wrong about that. That's okay. There was a secret area I wanted to burn into. I think it, one of them was down here. Let's see if we can find our Bernie. Here you go. We'll open this up. We got a red gem. Okay, and a bit of gold. Now the area over here we have to actually defeat that monster back at old Buren or whatever his name is at his place to actually go through there but I think if we head back a little bit there was another area that I wanted to check out Let's see if I can find it may as well do a bit of fighting on the way these guys are weak to fire and wind so definitely want to be taking birdman uh, let's see. Oddish, Birdman, and Bernie, I think, is who we'll bring. And we will open up by doing a power spell. That will give Bernie a magical increase. We could do Ignite. He is weak to fire. Let's go ahead and burn him. So he'll take extra fire damage. And then we can do a punch combo. We can just about kill this guy. If we get a crit or two... It's lights out for this boy. Okay, no crits, sadly. Oh, we did a lot of damage early. Ouch. Arcane Bolt. A bubble burst. Ouch. They actually did quite a decent amount of damage there. Let's do a... Feather Storm on this guy. Then we'll do a arcane bolt. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll do an ignite, another ignite on this guy. That should get him down to kill range, and then we'll do a punch combo here. Well, probably not the most efficient way I could have beaten these guys, but I feel like it's okay. We got two of them. Wow. Uh, and then just for the sake of getting the combo, we'll do a feather storm. Very nice. 93 damage. So there should be a decent amount of overkill here. I think you need to get 10,000 points. Okay, so we got a potato and some cotton. I'm going to immediately feed that potato to uh, Abominable. Let's go ahead and grab inventory. We'll feed that to Abominable because I want him to uh, be healthy. Oh, I didn't actually explain how the food works. So basically, um, these act like kind of semi-temporary. They, they're, they're permanent buffs, but only the last three things you fed to your... Um, to your uh, monster's apply. So if I were to feed him another meal, it would overwrite one of the potatoes and the same for all these other guys. Uh, I think I might actually give this guy crit, but I have given him mana for now. We'll see exactly what we want to do. Uh, this is not the way. I don't remember the way. Do I? Is it the way? This is the way. Sorry. Because I think, if memory serves me right, there was another place I could burn something earlier. So I think we're going to do the same... Uh, same layout of, um, what was it again? Abominable for water. Burr. We want to bring Blobbert and Bernie, so we'll do Bernie, Blobbert. This is my new layout. So, I don't want to do channel. Barrier doesn't seem necessary. I could do an ignite. I could do acid rain. I think I'll open up with an acid rain here. To do a decent amount of damage. I'll break their armor. And then an ice hail should kill that guy. Let's do that. Then do I want to do an arcane bolt or an ignite? Looks like an ignite will do more damage. Which is nice. Take a bit of damage, but that should heal back up. Uh, thanks to Yeti's passive healing ability. Or Yaoi, rather. Uh, let's do Acid... R oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, sorry, I hit the wrong button there. Let's do an Acid Rain on the Magma Pillar. It'll lower his defense and do a lot of magical damage. Which is always nice. And then we'll do an Ice Hail on this guy as well. And then we'll do a uh, Ignite on this guy. Five stars. And we got another Magma Pillar egg. So we could try out a different build. We could hatch another Magma Pillar. Let's do that. We will hatch a Magma Pillar. And we will call this guy... Roasty. Toasty. Yeah, I like roasty toasty. Roasty toasty. That's a nice little name. Uh, let's have a look at roasty toasty's skills. So roasty toasty, I think I'm going to go more of a defensive build on him. Maybe shield all. Maybe like sustain... Uh, maybe I could go for shields. He's a pretty low defense value, but he's more of a buffer compared to this guy. So now I have multiple guys I can choose from and... Uh, I think it's really interesting that you can kind of raise, you can have two of the same sort of monster, but you can have two builds on them. That's something that kind of really appeals to me about that, about the game. Uh, let's fight here. These guys are weak to earth, so let's choose Oddish. I want to bring Blobbert, and I guess I could bring Abominable for the regen. Sure, we'll do this. I like this party setup. 
Uh, we are going to do acid rain. We'll do a slam shot on the last guy. And then abominable. We'll do a beating here. And now Oddish, if he gets a crit, should be able to kill one of these guys in a single. There we go. Very nice. They did power. You get a beating. So let's talk to Yeti again. We're gonna do a slime shot on this guy to poison him. Then we're going to do a beating on the second guy, finish him off. And then the final guy will do a punch combo, and this should pretty much clean him up. So I think it's really cool that you can kind of build them for a specific task, or you can kind of generalize them. Oh, we got another Vero egg, or a Viro egg, actually. That's interesting. I don't think I've gotten a Viro in this run yet. We are going to check our skills here on Abominable. So... Abominable is definitely on the more tanky side, so I'm going to grab Icy Skin here. That will apply Chill when people attack him, which they lose 20% of their mana and their mana regeneration is reduced, so... Uh, he's, I'm definitely building him to be tankier than our other characters. Then we're going to have a look at Bernie. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab Kindle. And... Every attack triggers an additional hit with base damage equal to 50% of your own maximum mana. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I like, I, I really like how the abilities interact with each other. And I really like that the developers weren't like super concerned with like, oh, everything has to be perfectly balanced. You know, I think, I think it's okay that things are a little bit, you know. Is this the way? Oh no, this is the way to the beginning. Where was that place that I was meant to go then? I remember there was a, bur a thing I could burn, but I don't remember where it is. Huh, maybe I wasted my time going this way. Oh well. I think we're strong enough now to head back. Oh, I should hatch that. Hatch that monster. We will hatch our Viro. Or Vero. They are pretty interesting. I will call this, uh, Pidgey. Please don't copy strike me. I don't know if I spelled that right, but, you know. We are going to swap out Pidgey with Roasty Toasty. And we're going to upgrade Pidgey's skills. So Pidgey has some interesting skills. He has Beating, uh, Health Upgrade, Beating Level 2. So Beating will do more damage, cost more mana. Then this increases your mana, increases your health. Uh, Pidgey's pretty good at non-magical offense. So he's kind of a physical damage dealer, which I kind of like. I like the idea of having a physical, physical dude. We could also get the similar buff that our other guy has. Now, Sidekick. This is a buff I really like. Side sidekick basically uh, gives each attack that you make trigger an additional 50% damage attack, which is really nice. Um, and I also really like combo buffing with these guys, so I might go kind of like a buff build with this Pidgey. So we'll grab Sidekick, because I feel like that's a really powerful one, and we'll grab combo buffing. Then... I guess I could go for just upgrading his beating so that when he has done his buffs, he can attack more effectively. Sure, that seems reasonable. That's if I decide to bring him. Now, one thing, oh, I'll talk about that when we get over there, actually. I won't, won't bother burdening you with that knowledge yet. Shall head this way and explore. Oh, was it up here? It might be up here. Ah, there it is. Okay, I must have just missed it. So I believe we can burn this. I'd really like to get a cat zerker. I'd like to show you them these guys because I really like the cat zerker. It's one of my, again, one of my favorites. So we want to bring somebody who does earth damage. Pidgey does not have earth damage. Looks like Oddish and Blobbert. I guess I could just bring Abominable, since he's tanky. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to bring Pidgey, because he will give us extra damage and buffs. And I think he's going to be interesting to have in the party. So we're going to do Sidekick. This will give us more uh, damage. And it'll also build up our combo meter. And then we're going to do Slime Shot. Uh, 
And then we'll do punch combo. And if we get a crit or two, they should fall down. Almost. So hopefully they don't heal too much. Okay, they will heal. That's not the end of the world. Slash. And that's why I like the Cat Zerker, because they do a lot of damage in a single hit, which is really interesting to me. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Might buff now. And you can see uh, the Pidgey has Regeneration, Barrier, Sidekick, and Might. Um, all in the one thing. So I'm going to poison this guy. And then I'm going to punch combo the unpoisoned guy just for efficient damage. Plus a lot of overkill, which is quite nice too. They're going to heal. He'll do claws. Now I'm going to do a uh, beating. And then I will do punch combo to finish them off. Very nice. Hopefully we get an egg. Damn it. I was really banking on that egg. Unfortunately, I don't get to show you the cat, Zerker. Uh, let's have a look here. Here's Oddish. So, Oddish, we have Crit. We have Leaf Slash. I could go ahead and take the level 2 Leaf Slash. Um, that would make it about on par with Punch Combo. So, I think we'll do that. Just so he has a bit of variety to the attacks that he can do. And then we'll talk to Birdman. Birdman... Uh, hybrid. I could just start upgrading his other abilities. Now, Birdman is... I could, for example, upgrade Explosion. I could give him 5% crit chance. That's a pretty good one. I think I'm just going to upgrade his ability so that he can do more. Uh, so let's get Explosion level 2. Ah, and Blubbert has a spell too. I think I'm just going to upgrade um, Slime Shot so it's more effective. Which I think is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Go ahead and open this. And we got a walnut, which gives us some defense. Uh, I'm actually going to give that to Roasty Toasty. Because he... Oh. Because Roasty Toasty, uh, his abilities are based off his um, defense. So I want to optimize him for defense. Now I have an apple... Did I already give you three apples? No, I think, actually... Bernie does get a spell later that lets him do more damage the more mana he has. So in order to kind of build towards that, I could give him some apples to get his mana up. And he would do more damage based on that, which could be interesting. Ooh. Alrighty. So we want to bring people with water attacks. So that's going to be uh, probably Abominable, Blobbert, and I guess I'll bring Pidgey just because he's a nice buff bot. We are going to do uh, a Sidekick for the extra damage. Then we're going to do Acid Rain. Well, actually, we're going to do Ice Hail on this guy. And that'll get our combo rating up so that Acid Rain will just about kill this guy. Nice. Ouch! I guess he doesn't have any uh, bonuses right now. So we're going to do Beating. Get our combo up. Then... We are going to do a Ice Hail on this guy. And hopefully we'll get a lot of overkill with Acid Rain. Although I probably should have Acid Rained first. Might have made more sense to lower his defense. But, you know. What can you do? It's already been done. Maybe we got some copper and a small antidote. Not enough experience for a level, which is fine. One of the things I really like about this game is... It has the same feel as a game like Pokemon or something like it, but it eliminates a lot of the things that I find make Pokemon tedious, like having to, you know, store your monsters in a PC, having to, um, 
you know, heal your monsters, all that sort of stuff. And it just adds enough interesting little things to really differentiate it from that style of game. These guys are weak to wind and earth, so probably want to bring Birdman and Oddish, I think. Let's do Oddish, Pidgey and Birdman. Let's first activate Sidekick for the extra damage. Then we are going to do a... I could do Power as well. We'll do Power. So we're really buffed up now with a lot of buffs. And then we'll do a Punch combo. We should be able to one-hit these guys. I want to overkill by more. and I Well, maybe Leaf Slash will overkill for more. You never know. Hitting my Pidgey with the Arcane Bolt. And a Bubble Burst on my... Uh, I forget what I called my first guy. What is his name? It doesn't actually say it. <laughs> uh, Feather Storm versus just doing a beating. Let's just do a beating on the last guy. Then we'll do a Feather Storm here. To get our combo rating up for when Oddish does his combo. Nine hits, god damn. We're up to 175% uh, damage. That's why I like comboing is so nice. Those extra hits from Sidekick really pay off. Ah, uh, we got a Cat Circuit. Yes, yes. Really excited to show you the Cat Circuit. Again, it's like my favorite uh, guy. So let's go into inventory. We'll hatch the Cat Circuit. I'm going to show you his abilities. So the really cool thing about Meowth, as I'm going to call him. Is that... Oh, yes. I was saving these berries for Meowth, actually. Now that I remember. We'll swap Meowth with... Uh, Oddish, I guess, for now. We'll put some skill points into him. So the really cool thing about Meowth is this ability here is Slash. It does 180% physical damage. But when combined with this ability right here, Precision, which gives you a 25% increased critical chance on your first attack. Um, now, if we were to get Slash level 2, that would actually decrease how much damage we do. But, if we take Precision and leave Slash at level 1 and then take this crit chance, he has a really, really high chance of critting when you use Slash, which is pretty exciting in my opinion. We could also take Claws, which would be sort of a more general... Uh, I think I'd rather take Attack Plus, and then I could also take Regeneration, which would sort of allow Meowth to replace... Um, What's his name? Yeti. Uh, Abominable as a sort of character, although he would have to spend a turn using the regeneration buff. Um, so you can kind of go for this sort of crit build that I like, or you can kind of go for more like an elemental damage build where you're kind of tanking, you do lots of damage, or you can go kind of like buffing over here. I like going the crit plus buffs. I think that's pretty exciting, especially when you get heroism here. So I'm going to grab regeneration on this guy. Uh, and we are going to feed him the berries so that his crit damage goes up. So that's an extra 12% crit damage. If we check his equipment, that'll give him a bit of damage reduction. Uh, I don't want to give him magic. He does have pretty bad mana regen. So now he's actually a viable member of our party. He can do a lot of really cool things in terms of damage. So he's kind of like a um, a squishier version of what Abominable does. He doesn't quite tank as well, but he provides a lot more uh, burst and upfront damage. Um, but I could unequip some of this stuff from Oddish and give it to him so we can show him off a bit. Let's take the bandana. Let's take the helmet. We'll leave the tome on you. Just 
give you, just so I can show you some new guys. We'll give you the bandana, which is another 3% crit. And we will give you the helmet, which will make you even tankier and do even more damage. So he's up to 100 attack rating, which is really, really high. Uh, yeah. So I need to kind of make a decision about the party that I'm going to bring to the champion fight that I'm about to do and show you guys. go ahead and hop, head up here to go fight the champion whoa that's what i was kind of talking about earlier in the other episode sometimes the platforming can be a little bit floaty it's not terrible it's just not quite where oh i didn't mean to land on those guys uh but let's take a moment here we're going to choose meowth we're going to i want to have blobbert i'm gonna bring pidgey and blobbert i think that's like a good party uh we're going to first of all we're going to cast sidekick Then we're going to cast Regeneration. Then we're going to do a Slime Shot on the Cat Zerker. To bring his health down. And that should kill him, actually, quite nicely. He's going to channel to reduce the cost of their spells. Then we're going to do a Might Buff on Pidgey. So we do a lot more damage and now you can see the true power of the slash here once i do a uh, acid rain now they are not super vulnerable to the acid rain but will really show you the kind of damage you can pump out with a cat circer in a single hit it's pretty exciting 279 damage without a crit that's incredible And the nice thing is, they regenerate their health thanks to the Cat Circus. So this is like a really well-sustained party. We're going to do an Acid Rain. Looks like he's having some trouble mana regenerating. Um, Blobbert is. And we'll do a Beating here just to get our combo level up. So we can get a lot of overkill. I would really like to see him do a Slash Crit. There we go. 465 damage. Did you see that? That's incredible. Really, really great. Oh, hey, and we got another Cestus. Cool. And Pidgey leveled up, which means we have another skill point that we can use. Uh, I could go and upgrade power. It would give me sorcery on the last guy. Yes, we will grab power. Uh, I want to take a look here at Blobbert's mana. I'll give him the wizard hat. So I'm not sure what the party layout I'm going to use on this boss is. I've prepared for the real test. So now we have to fight a champion. He's waking up. And now we fight him. Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times a turn, usually twice a turn. It's your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. So it's only fitting that you beat one to become a member of the order of keeper monster keepers. Show me what you're made of. This guy is pretty hard. Um, so he does earth attacks. So I actually don't want to bring Meowth. And he's weak to wind. I have one guy who can do wind attacks, and that's Birdman. So I'm going to bring Birdman. And I did have another guy who can do it. I can't retreat, sadly. Yeah, I wish I had my other monster. I wish I had Oddish. He would have been really great for this fight. Uh, I guess I can just bring Abominable. I definitely want to bring, bring Blobbert. I could go like... I want to bring Blobbert and I'd also like to bring Pidgey if I could. But I think I'm just going to go like Abominable... Birdman and Blobbert, which is like a pretty core party. This is going to be a long fight, so I am going to use the channel buff here to make sure that I'm mana efficient. Uh, channel gives you a 20% reduction in the mana cost of all your spells. And then I'm going to do a power buff to increase the damage. And then we're going to inflict him with poison. Because he has really high health, poison does percent based damage, so poison is a really efficient way to do get damage in. See, 125 damage there on that poison tick is pretty good. And the passive regen should help us out a lot. And we can always heal with uh, Blobbert if we feel like it. You can see here, Poison loses 10% of its maximum health at the start of each turn. I'd like to do an Acid Rain to break his armor. 
but I might have to heal. I think we can get away with one more turn. Not healing. We broke his armor. Let's do Featherstorm. Yeah, Featherstorm would do more. Let's get the combo rating up for Featherstorm. This should do a decent amount of damage. Very nice. He's going to shield himself for some health. Or for some uh, sh defense, basically. Ah, oh, nice. We got the... Uh, looks like we have the agility, which gives us a 20% chance to dodge. Um, that actually triggered a lot there. I'm going to take a moment here to heal up um, the Abominable. We'll just do a regular beating to break his shield. Then we're going to do another Feather Storm to cut down through his health. Very nice. Let's see. What could you do? You could do an Arcane Bolt to get four. This would give me five. This costs more mana, but to give me a 5% damage boost to all my subsequent turns. You're pretty good on mana, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then I'll just do a regular beating to get my combo up here. Then we'll do Featherstorm again. Featherstorm has slightly better damage. Look at that. It's lovely. Nice. So we beat him pretty quick. That's because we took a few turns to... We, we took a while to go out and prepare in the wilderness. Ah, we got a shell and some iron. That's very nice. I'm going to give that shell to uh, Bernie Roasty Toasty. Congratulations, young one. Uh, you've defeated your first champion and therefore now a keeper aspirant. Nothing more is required of you. Have her stay a while and listen, won't you? Nice reference to... Uh, the Haradric Cube guy, Deckard Cain. Because there are things going on in the Sanctuary that trouble me. You see, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means, and champions usually don't accept other monsters beside them for a keeper in control of them. Champions are always an, an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger, but even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I've deactivated it most of the time. Recently, Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the Sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by viral mail from Rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the Sanctuary fighting against champions. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself, but at least I can keep the Keeper's Trail safe. I trapped a champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it if you feel up to the tasks. So this is the Mountain past key, Path key, so I can go fight a champion. But before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. The lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Uh, so this is apples and potatoes. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you want to intend, if you intend to face more uh, champion monsters. But a monster always only profits from the last three food items you gave it. Now good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well then, you're a Keeper Aspirant now, still the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. There's always only one in a couple of lifetimes. We can take care of that other champion right now, or we can go back to the Keeper Stronghold first. The choice is yours. I'm going to go uh, fight the champion. I think that would be exciting. So I think, if memory serves me... Oh, I never opened this. <laughs> uh, that's a ribbon. That's actually quite good. That, that would be really good on the Abominable. Since it gives health, he really synergizes quite well with the health um, that we've been building on him. And now, I think Roasty Toasty already has a shell, so I can't give him another shell. Uh, I think I'll give you the shell. Do I want to bring Oddish to this fight? I think I've kind of invested more into Oddish at this point, so I'm going to bring him. Um, although the Cat Zerker is just so much more fun. I don't really use Bernie much. I do need a source of fire damage. So I'll keep him. Let's have a look at our skills. The Abominable. Um, I think I'm just going to pick up a bit of defense here to make him tankier. Uh, well, this would give him the ability to heal himself. So I'm going to go ahead and learn health proc. Now Bernie, since he has Kindle now, we're going to go ahead and grab Burning Desire, which means every time a monster gets hit by the burn debuff, which we apply with our attacks, we will provide a shield 
to uh, the entire party equal to 10% of their health, so it's kind of a way to sustain through a fight uh, using Bernie, which is quite nice. I, I like him a lot. It's a, it's a build I've never done before. Oh, God, how do I... There must be some kind of monster that I haven't unlocked yet that opens this. Um, but anyway, let's head, let's make our way over to the mountain pass. We'll try to avoid some combat here. We don't need to fight anything anymore. I think we have the experience we need to fight. Well, I guess we could always fight something. We always get eggs and, and gold and all that kind of jazz. We'll open this up. And this is the champion. So he is a monk. He is weak to earth. Kind of wish I had thingy. And he does um, water and wind damage. So I don't want to bring Birdman because he's weak to water. And I don't want to bring Birdman. I don't want to bring Bernie or Birdman. Uh, Meowth does a lot of damage. I guess I could go like... I don't want to bring Blobbert either, so I guess I could go like Abominable Meowth and Pidgey. I feel like this is a pretty well balanced party against this guy. Um, let's do Channel to make this mana efficient. Oh, I should have brought the poison, but we can live without it, I think. Uh, we'll do Regeneration to keep us healthy. And we will do Sidekick as well. So we're going to buff ourselves up heavily in this first uh, round. And we're going to regenerate a lot of health at the start of each turn, so we don't have to have a healer. Uh, so we did sidekick. Let's do power now. It's going to significantly increase the damage of our guys. Oh, nice! We got the glory buff on um, Meowth, which means he has increased critical chance and damage. Uh, I think we're going to do a beating here. Just to build up our combo counter a little bit, and then we'll do a slash. And if this crits, it should do incredible damage. Not quite. This is a really this is a really powerful thing of the Yeti and the Cat Zerker together. You can have just an incredible amount of regeneration. So let's just do a regular beating. Just slowly whittle down the health and build up our combo rating. These aren't exactly the best uh, guys to build up combo rating on, but um, it's okay. Now we'll do a slash. Hopefully we crit. Ah, uh, 475 damage. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Freezing punch is hurt. Ouch. Hopefully he doesn't attack that guy again. Okay, we're going to have to use a Phoenix tier. Uh, let's do it with this guy. We'll wake him up with a Phoenix tier. Then we are going to do a regular beating. He does get to keep all of his buffs if he gets knocked out, which is quite nice. Although I'm not sure if that's intentional. It might be something they change when the game comes out properly. There's a nice 500 damage crit. So it's not infallible to uh, have this build that I'm using with the lots of regeneration, but it's it's pretty decent. Like it kind of it kind of works. It's possible to focus fire through the the healing though. So we'll do a beating as well to build up our combo rating for the Cat Zerker. And then we will do a slash. And hopefully we'll crit again. A little bit of a crit. He's just doing regular attacks and a freezing punch. Lots of healing passively. Let's go ahead and do a beating. And then we will do another beating on this guy. And then we'll do a slash. If this crits twice, it should be... No, not quite a kill. Catzerker is currently my squishiest. Ah, his taunt ability actually triggered, so he absorbed that hit for me. That's kind of the power of the Yeti. Uh, so we'll do a beating. So I hope this kind of, this kind of battle, I hope, uh, kind of shows you the potential for really cool combos of creatures that you can do. And even, even creatures can have different builds, which is really exciting to me. We got a blue gem, we got a potion and some cotton. And we got a bunch of level ups. 
let's go ahead and check out those skills. So here's my Meowth. I could upgrade Slash, but I think I want to get um, Heroism because I like having lots of buffs because he'll do more damage for every buff he has on him. Uh, here on this guy, I think I'm going to upgrade his spells. Um, I could upgrade his attack and stuff, but I think spell upgrades would go quite nicely. Hybrid Shield would be okay. I only really need one of these. Uh, crit would be really nice too. Wind affinity. Every attack deals 15%. Increased damage used the first time during combat. Different levels count as the same attack. Ah, okay. This is quite good if you want to use a lot of different, different attacks. Ooh, I'm really excited at the solar burst potential here. If I get fire affinity, that would work really well together. But Explosive Burst does the same thing. Interesting. Explosion. When the monster dies for the first time, it is revived with 25% of its max health. Ooh. Energized. Player monster recover 15% of the max health when attacking a shocked enemy. So that's based on this. No. This initial shock. Ah, Thunderstorm. This is for sure I want to get Thunderstorm. So I'm going to... I'm going to upgrade Lightning Bolt and see if I can get Thunderstorm because this will apply Shock, which means they take even more damage, which is really cool. Blobbert is going to... Let's see. Uh, looks like he's kind of built more for debuffing and magic with a little bit of healing built in. Uh, let's see. Sorcery. Uh, let's see. Mana regen, healing skills increased. Heals all for 100% magic value. Every monster party starts to combat with a random buff. Ooh, I really like that one. Improved health rating. Bubble burst level 2. Arcane bolt. Improved magic. Full defense. Applies barrier, agility, and spell shield buffs. Wow, that's really good. Uh, let's see... I have been running out of mana sometimes, but I guess not much. Maybe upgrading my heal would be the right move. I don't really use Arcane Bolt, but it would be good. Although I have spells that I can use that are fairly cheap to build up combo anyway. Which is this. It's actually fairly expensive mana-wise. So it might be a good idea to build up, to get Arcane Bolt here. Just so I have a cheap spell that I can use to build combo points. Alternatively, I could get heal. It would just mean I heal better. And then uh, if I got combo healing as well, that would be quite good. I think I want to have Blobbert be a little bit focused on healing. We're going to... Oh, I forgot to go through the... Um, there's extra stuff this way. Like a chest and things. We've got a sustain ring, which is mana regen. And then there's another thing here. And we've got the ocarina. Oh, I'm going to be giving that to Blobbert instead of the crit ring. Give him the Ocarina, and then I'll give Meowth the Crit Ring. So his crit chance is up to 23%, because he's basically my crit crit guy. I'm kind of building him around the idea of doing crit chance and crit damage. We'll head up towards the Sanctuary. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and do that yet. Um, I might end the episode once we're right outside and then kind of give you something to be you know, waiting for when we go to our next episode. So we'll head over here. We won't quite go into the Sanctuary, but we'll get over there. Is this the way? No, this is not the way. This is the way. Sorry. Sometimes I get a little bit confused about where I am on the map. I'm not going to fight these guys. I don't need to fight anymore. Uh... We can just fly over them. So yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking the game so far. I'm really excited at the. Uh, I really want to see this game when it's finished because my god, it is going to be so much fun. I, it's already incredible fun. I, I'm kind of addicted to it, really. Um, but the Keeper Stronghold is here to the right, and we will be checking that out next time. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Uh, please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. And don't forget to back the game on Kickstarter if you're interested in that. Bye-bye.